Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix the GPU driver version error inside of Warzone. So when you get this message pop up on the screen, you can just press continue, but this is not recommended as it can cause future issues like game crashing or freezing. So when you get an error message pop up like this, it's always a good idea to try and identify the root cause. And in this case, this is going to be our drivers. So it's relatively simple to fix. We first just need to head over to our start menu and we're going to search for task manager and then just head over to the task manager window. So now that we're in the task manager, we just need to shut down any instances of Call of Duty that are running on our computer. So as you can see right at the top here, I've got Call of Duty running. So we're just going to right click on this and select end task. And you can also use the search feature up here just to search for Call of Duty just to make sure we've closed down all of these processes and then you can close out of this window. So the next thing we need to do is update our graphic card drivers. Now there's two methods we can use to do this. The first one is by far the quick and easiest and that's just heading over to your start menu and searching for device manager then clicking on this here and inside of this window we need to come down to display adapters and you'll need to locate your graphics card from this list. Now I have an integrated AMD graphics card on my computer but this Nvidia one here is the one that I use so I'm just going to right click on this and come into update driver and then you'll need to select search automatically for drivers. Now if you get this message saying the best drivers for your device are already installed then what I'd recommend doing is actually heading to the official manufacturer's website of your graphics card. So for instance I have a Nvidia graphics card so I can head over to an internet browser and then come over to the official Nvidia drivers download page. From here we can just select our graphics card by filling in all the details here and then we can press search. And then we'll be able to download the latest graphic driver directly from this link. Now, of course, you can also do the same for AMD and Intel just by typing in something like Intel graphics driver and coming to the official download page. Now, another thing you can do is if you're using a NVIDIA graphics card like myself, then you might already have installed on your computer an application called GeForce. Now, if this is the case, we can launch up this application, head over to the drivers tab at the top here, and then we're simply going to press this check for updates button. Now, once again, I'm already running the latest driver for my device. And if you're also getting the same message, it could be an idea just to come over to these three little dots here and select reinstall driver. Now, if you're unsure on how to update your video card drivers, then there's an official article from Activision on exactly how to do this, depending on the graphics card you're using. And I'll leave the link to this in the video description. So as you can see down in this section here where it says, how do I update my video card drivers? We can click on any of these links like the AMD one, for instance, and it will take us directly to their website. And then from this page, we can just come down to download drivers and it will automatically install the latest drivers for us. If you're not sure what graphics card you have installed on your computer, we can simply head over to the start menu and search for run, come over to the run icon and just search for DXDIAG and hit enter. And then if we come over to the display tab at the top here, you can see this is the name of my graphics card driver that I have installed. And then if I head over to display two, you can see this is the NVIDIA graphics card that I also have installed. And that's it guys. Once you've updated your graphic card drivers, that should have now fixed the error inside of Warzone. If this video did help you, then please consider dropping a like and subscribing until next time.